guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share my mid-year curriculum review for my pre k -er. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 11, 4, and 2, and I'm in my third year of homeschool. So you guys, like, I am so proud of myself um, for being very consistent with my pre k -er. I look back at my original curriculum picks that I picked out for her, and nothing much really has changed change for her. Um, only thing that has changed so far is the levels. Um, we either have moved up in levels of certain pieces of curriculum or I moved down in levels. So um, other than that, we have been pretty consistent with her routine. I know on my channel, I do want to start making more content, uh, sharing what I am doing with my uh, pre k -er and my preschooler. Since my younger two daughters, uh, they are actually starting to learn more and be more a part of our homeschool. So you guys, in no particular order, I'm going to go ahead and share some of the curriculum pieces we have used uh, this semester in our mid-year curriculum review, some of the curriculum pieces we have finished, and uh, how we are going to uh, plan our upcoming school year starting off in January for um, my four-year-old Leia. So first and foremost, we actually started off our school year doing a gentle and classical preschool. We started this one off in April because I was so excited to do this program, you guys. This program is a really, really a sweet preschool uh, program it has a lot of different components to it uh, where she has uh, she has learned uh, memory statement cards she's learned all about uh, things all about herself like she's learned her um, her name her address her uh, telephone number um, just different things like that um, this actually goes over the alphabet it doesn't have any like type of phonetics program uh, but it does go over just the uh, recognizing of alphabets and it does have a math component that includes incorporates preschool math at home with it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to give you a brief overview of how a week of a gentle and classical preschool looked in my homeschool. So this is the unit we left off on, which was unit 26, and the letter of that week was Z. Here is our literature that we read the whole week, which was Zen Zen, a violin. I typically would check out my books from the library. So as far as the other components that I would do in the program, the first component is the nursery rhyme, and the nursery rhyme for this week was Jack and His Fiddle. The manners and hygiene card was I can sit still and listen and then I will read this poem to the kiddos all week long. We would have a math flash card that will go along with our preschool math at home chapter that we're working on. And this week we were finishing up chapter seven, which went over simple addition and subtraction. And this uh, cute card was just like a reminder of the concept we were going over in the preschool math at home book. The next thing in this program was the catechism that we would go over and these both had a song to it and it was really, really cute. The kids learning all of their different catechisms through this program. And the last thing that we would go over was our um, scripture memory verse. And again, this right here, it's called Song for Saplings. It's a YouTube playlist with all of these Bible verses songs and the kiddos will memorize their scripture uh, memory work through song, which is really, really cute. Um, along with the gentle and classical preschool I did the additional uh, add-ons for the ages three to four year olds and we would read this book which was our devotion which was called big thoughts for little people so this week again we were on um, letter Z so I would read this short devotion uh, which was a Z it's for zebra or zebu or zoo God made all of his creatures and he made you too so we'll have a cute poem a, a small devotion and then these questions will go along with the picture seek and find which uh, my daughter loved and then it had another little memory verse for uh, the week we would go over this book all week long we would then do our poetry in this book called the llama who had no pajamas and we would read our poetry uh, reading for that whole week week out of this book as well, along with our preschool morning binder. On Fridays, what we would do is we typically would do a letter craft. And this week I did a letter craft on the letter Z where we painted the Z as zebras. So this would be a full week of a gentle and classical uh, preschool, a quick little overview. But I really, really enjoyed a gentle and classical preschool. Um, we used the preschool morning binder, which I put in my little dry erase sheets where every 
today she was going over all about her she had to write her name right here and this is how she actually learned how to write her first name uh, we went over her age and right here in this component um, she actually started wanting to write all of the numbers so she actually uh, knows how to write all of her numbers one through five just by continuously practicing this page uh, in the morning we would go over her emotions how she's feeling um we would go over the days of the week the months of the year and then she began to identify the actual days of the uh, month and she started to be able to write the numbers down here on her preschool morning binder um as the uh time in the months went on when she was able to start writing some of her numbers each week, uh, we will go over the weather for the day, the season, and the temperature outside. And then each week, whichever letter corresponded with a Gentle and Classical Preschool, we had our letter of the week. And this one is just the last letter that I have in from when we did it, which was Z. Uh, we can actually do a lot of things on this page where we can build the letter using uh, some math manipulatives. We can use Play-Doh, blocks, whatever we wanted to to build the letter Z on this page. And then she had an opportunity on um, the next page to be able to identify and write out her letter Z and identify which letters is Z in here. And then she always would have some type of math or corresponding sheet that corresponded with the preschool math at home by Kate Snow. So you guys, um, we completed this program in the first week of December and overall this program was so great. My daughter has learned so much. Um, we didn't read all of the literature and we didn't do all of the components with this program. Um, however, uh, the components we did do, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I do want to make a separate video really dedicating it to a gentle and classical preschool and maybe even showing you guys us doing a lesson of a gentle and classical preschool even though we completed the program. So if any of you guys are interested in this, you can kind of see all the moving parts and how it actually works out. But overall, I love this program and I definitely can see myself doing this one again. So you guys, um, as far as uh, Leia's phonics instruction, we did two things. I did, I did want to go ahead and do all about reading level one with her, but I found out that she wasn't quite ready for it. Even though she does know her um, all of her letter sounds and she does uh, know how to sound out some CVC words for the pace that the all about reading level one had, she wasn't quite ready to make that next leap. So what I did was I began the all about reading pre-reading program with her and I'm so happy that I did this program with her. Um, Leia, she actually does have a speech delay so by me spending that extra time working on those letter sounds and those rhyming skills, it actually has helped out a lot with her speech. Her speech therapist actually noticed a difference in her speech when we started this all about reading pre-reading program. We are not uh, all the way through with this program. We're probably going to be finished with this program in the next couple of months. Um, however, we we have definitely been enjoying doing the lessons with this. Uh, Leia definitely loves Ziggy the Zebra. Um, I love adding in Ziggy the Zebra, the component. Um, she has little flashcards that she uses with her rhyming games and um, she loves all the arts and crafts that we do along with this program. I do again want to show you guys us doing a lesson of the All About Reading pre-reading program, but I'm so happy that I decided to go ahead and add in this for her phonics instruction. Since the Gentle and Classical Preschool didn't really have any phonics instruction it just went over letter recognition and uh, actually writing out the letters something else that I had for Leia for phonics was get ready for the code which is the beginning series for the books a B and C we really wasn't that consistent with this get ready for the code so hopefully um, since we have finished off uh, a gentle and classical preschool we can add in get ready with the code along with her all about reading pre-reading and be a little bit more consistent with her uh, phonics instruction but overall the lessons that we did complete in it she enjoyed she loved using her coloring page and um, overall the explosion the cult series is definitely a great one especially if you have like a pre-reader um something else that we did uh for leia again was math and like i shared with you with the gentle and classical preschool it was through preschool math at home and you guys like this little 16 dollar workbook for math it, it is like gold like i would recommend this to any parent just because this book right here is really a guide 
it has different activities that you're going to be doing as a parent that's going to help uh, your kiddos build strong uh, foundations when it comes to math. It focuses a lot on subitizing where they're able to just recognize numbers uh, just by looking at them instead of counting them. Uh, they're doing like a lot of skills, especially um, they're doing early addition and subtraction. Um, they're doing concepts where uh, you have to show them um, how many fingers do I have holding up and they have to tell you four, but then they also have to let you know how many fingers are um, you're holding down, which is one. So um, this book right here, I love the hands-on math approach and it definitely was a great addition in our homeschool. I do have a busybody. So Leia, uh, me having activities like this where I just have to read it and I'm setting out the activities that we're playing, like playing store with pennies and things like that. She was really engaged with all the fun math things and I can definitely attest and let you know her math skills are like so great and I'm so happy I did this program with her. Um, I originally seen this program from... Um, What's her name? Rachel from Seven and All and Jasmine from One Caffeinated Mom. They shared this uh, preschool math at home program that they did and um, I was interested. I went ahead and got it and I'm so happy uh, that I did. So um, since Leia has completed this program in our second semester, what we're going to do is we are going to finish off our kindergarten math with confidence. I was so excited, you guys. So this month we went ahead and started it. We actually completed the first week of... Um, kindergarten math with confidence we haven't been that consistent because you guys this is december uh we are definitely on holiday mode here in our home school so the lessons that she did complete she really really enjoyed and i enjoyed them too um so i'm just gonna pick back up this bad boy um in january and we're gonna be really really consistent with this program but so far uh, she has breezing through the lessons the workbook pages you guys are so cute but the meat of this curriculum is in the uh teacher's guide um if you want me to make a separate video about uh, kindergarten math with confidence, I will. And I'm going to link below some videos that um, some of my fellow YouTuber friends have made on kindergarten math with confidence if you guys want to see something like right now about this program. But it's such a great and affordable math program. So for handwriting, uh, we did... Um, the get ready handwriting without tears which is my first preschool book and you guys i definitely love doing the uh, preschool handwriting without tears uh book brielle my oldest daughter she actually started off the handwriting without tears with the cursive book and i just had to start off leia with a younger book um i really really love utilizing this chalkboard right here where i would write out the letter and then she would take a sponge and follow the correct formation in writing the letters and she would practice it this way and practice it on the chalk she would practice the chalkboard um all week long and then on friday she would actually write out her letter whichever letter of the week we were working on or number in her uh get ready um for the what is it get ready for the school uh handwriting without tears book so um i love utilizing both of these components of this uh program and it was really really great we're halfway through with this book we're actually on the alphabet review so uh, i went ahead and i got the next handwriting without tears book which is kickstart for kindergarten which is their pre-k book so um we'll be finishing off this in january and then moving into the purple book for leia so she's so excited she already seen her next book uh which goes over the lowercase letters so this book right here only went over the uppercase letters and the numbers and then now we're going to review the uppercase letters and start going over the lowercase letters in the kickstart for kindergarten book and we still can utilize our chalk our chalkboard which i really really loved now some of our fun units that we have done and supplemental things we have done for uh, Leia, which we haven't really been consistent with, but we still really, really enjoyed in our homeschool was plan preschool. So you guys, we completed four units out of the plan preschool and we really, really have enjoyed them. We did the apples unit, the colors unit, the nursery rhyme unit, and the clothing unit um, this whole school year. Um, so she really, really enjoyed when I added in a fun unit uh, with Leia as far as like her schooling goes and I definitely love playing preschool so much I cannot wait for us to dig in and do some more units um, next semester especially since we have finished a gentle and classical preschool we are going to pull this baby back out and do some of the fun uh, hands-on learning units uh, with this we actually did a few of the alphabet uh, portfolio that goes along with this and I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some of the alphabets uh, of the portfolio that we have already done and some of the arts and crafts that we got up to when we did our units but overall you guys i definitely love this hands-on 
fun unit based program. You can utilize plan preschool alone as a standalone curriculum. However, I still wanted to incorporate um, handwriting and phonics because this actually doesn't have those two components in it. And something else that we did supplemental was uh, cutting skills. I used these Kumon cutting books and these Melissa and Doug cutting books and also this Kumon pasting book to work on those fine motor skills for Leia. She actually has mastered the skills of cutting now, so she's able to cut out. I mean, it's not perfect, but she finally has, you know, gotten uh, the use of the scissors and I'm so happy I had these books to practice with her. Another thing I did, you guys, was I took uh, just regular paper uh, with markers and I had her follow the line to practice cutting but she definitely loves all of these books I think this book right here the cow book is what she calls it is her favorite book as far as um her cutting skills and things like that and she typically would work on like her cutting skills and things like that in the morning uh before we did our uh bible time so you guys, uh, this is like my mid-year review for uh, Leia, my pre k -er. Um, She did so well uh, this school year, and I'm so, so, so excited to continue off um, the rest of our school year. Um, so we are going to just continue off uh, using um, our kindergarten math with confidence, our kindergarten handwriting, and our uh, plan preschool, and then also to our all about reading and explode the code. It's going to be like all of the things and the resources I'm going to use since we finished up our in classical preschool. So you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know if you do want to see more preschooling content. I definitely will make some for you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next one. Bye.